we've got our fresh orchetti. I basically just left this in the refrigerator so it didn't fully dry, just so it'll cook faster and evenly when I want to. For me, they're better fresh. So you can dry them, whatever you want to do. But today we're going to utilize them. And in Puglia, there's a classic dish called cime de rapa, which is basically a orecchetti cooked with broccoli rabe and sometimes with some anchovy. And it's a traditional dish that you can find there, and it's sort of a classic pairing with orecchetti. And I have some Italian sausage from my freezer from this company, Porter Road, who really hooked me up with some meat, and they're like, I don't say this lightly, like one of the best meat companies, the online butchers that I've encountered. So I'm a huge fan of them, not sponsored or affiliated at all, but I'll leave a link down below in case you want to check them out. So I'm going to crumble up some Italian sausage. I'm going to cut some broccolini, which I have in the refrigerator that I'm trying to get rid of. And I have some garlic, olive oil, and we'll sort of make it like broccoli pasta, but with the addition of sausage. So we're going to rely on some of that sausage fat as well as some olive oil to kind of make this sauce. By now you should sort of understand how this process is going to sort of go down. We can just run through chopping up the vegetables in the right way for this dish, slicing up the garlic, and then prepping the sausage for cooking, and then we can just jump over there and bang this out really quickly. So let's just jump right into it. First I'm going to cut the garlic. Remember guys, garlic is super good for you. Cut off the woody end of the broccolini and then chop into bite-sized pieces. So here's the deal. Usually we'll use a lot of olive oil to make this whole dish with the broccoli and the pasta, but since we have sausage fat, we're going to sort of roll tiny little meatballs of uh, sausage, get them in the pan, sear them with a little bit of olive oil and sort of render out that fat. And then um, we can add the broccoli, cook the broccoli in that fat, and then add the garlic and some red pepper flake. Get that everything really cooked. And since this pasta is gonna take no time at all to cook, two, three minutes, we're gonna basically have the sauce and everything ready to go by the time the pasta's cooked. We're gonna to toss it up just like we do. We're gonna emulsify the oil sauce and the fat with the pasta water and the baby's ready to go. Let's get into it. Get a pot of salted water up to a boil. Then get a pan over medium high heat, a little bit of olive oil, and then start to crumble in that Italian sausage into little bite-sized pieces. Try and brown that really nicely on all sides, and you can kind of continue to break it up in the pan if you want smaller pieces. Once the fat's rendered and they get really browned, then add the broccolini. Season it with salt, and you can add a little bit more olive oil if you need to kind of make sure things are cooking evenly. Once the broccoli gets nice and softened, then add the garlic and some chili flake. Right when you add those ingredients, drop the pasta in immediately. The pasta will take two to three minutes to cook and once they float, they're done. Turn the heat off once the garlic is nicely browned. Add a ladle or two of the pasta water and then get that back onto the heat and let that reduce and thicken into the sauce. And then once the orchetti are floating, add it to the pan. Now it's time to emulsify everything into the sauce, get the sauce thickened, get the pasta coated and absorbing the sauce and make it all come together. As you can see, the sauce has come together nicely and we're ready to plate.
Like I said, you, you have to oversalt the pasta water, especially when you make your own pasta. We didn't add pa salt to the pasta for a reason, because we're gonna add it later. So I know it looked like I added a lot of salt, but it's actually perfect for me. The orecchetti has bite. Like I can pick it up with a fork. And since it was never dried, it's not quite al dente, but it has a chew rather than al dente. Still has texture and structure, just not quite al dente. But that's fine. That's what we know to be true with fresh pasta. It's just something to be aware of because I know a lot of people always hear al dente no matter what. Now, because we know how to make aglio olio and broccoli pasta, the idea of rendering fat of the sausage and then combining it with the oil and the pasta water should make complete sense to you. If you need a refresher on those, I'll leave links down to those videos below. But now that you're understanding the techniques behind some of this stuff, you should be able to mix and match stuff. You could really use whatever vegetable you want. You don't need to use broccoli or a broccoli rob. I used what I had. This is as quality of a meal as you're gonna have, and you spent pennies to make it. This is the importance of going backwards in time, understanding techniques, and then just applying it to our lives now to come through on a clutch to save money to feed ourselves in times of need or stress. Making food like this is what it's all about. That was kind of up there with one of the best pastas I've ever made, I think. It feels like a grandma made it, but you made it for yourself, and that's what I love. Hope you guys are staying positive and uh, doing well during this insane, crazy time we're all living in. Hoping things get better real soon. Thanks to all my patrons scrolling up on the screen right now. As always, I love you and appreciate you. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.